In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can type Chinese on a computer. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can add an input source on your Mac computer. So basically, writing Chinese on a computer is actually fairly simple. You use a Roman alphabet known as pinyin to enter the phonetics of the language. So it's not a keyboard that has thousands and thousands of keys. Rather, you enter it using pinyin. So let's first learn how you can add an input source on your Mac computer. What you want to do is open up settings in your system preferences and then go to keyboard down here. Now on the fourth button up here, you can see input sources and you'll already have one selected. So if you hit down here and click plus. Now, because my region is already set to Taiwan, I guess it's already suggested them. So today we're going to add simplified Chinese and you've got a few different styles. What you want to do is add pinyin, which is the most commonly used in mainland China. And I'm also going to add traditional Chinese. And again, I'm going to use pinyin traditional. Now, a little side fact is in Taiwan, most people actually use juyin to write, to enter characters. So that is a phonetic alphabet that looks very different to pinyin. Once we've added these two things, you can go ahead and customize them. Now, normally the default is vertical and the characters are much smaller. But me personally, I'm used to reading from left to right, so uh, I suggest using horizontal. And since I'm a learner of Chinese, I want to get used to recognizing them. So I suggest whacking up the font size to 36. Now, another little uh, thing you want to use is make sure that caps lock is selected. This way, uh, rather than doing a shortcut to switch between the input sources, you can just press caps lock, which is much more simple. Now, once you've added the Chinese keyboard, you want to go to shortcuts to select the input kind of keyboard shortcut. So up in the menu bar, you'll see uh, the flags and that is one way you can change the input sources. Uh, alternatively, in the keyboard settings under shortcuts, just go to input sources and the default will be uh, control space, which is this one. On me, for me, I've got it as option space. If you hold it down, if you keep option held down and keep pressing space bar, you see it flicks between the two. Otherwise, uh, the new system update allows you to press caps lock. So if I press caps lock, you will see it changes up here. Alternatively, if you've got a brand new Mac with a touch bar at the top, just go to system preferences, pick extensions, which is here, uh, customize control strip, and you can drag this option down into the control panel. So now we've got an input added to our computer. Now let's learn how to type these Chinese characters in a document. So this Chinese is Da Jia Hao, which means hi everyone. Now, if you write that in pinyin, it is D A J I A H A O, Da Jia Hao. Uh, obviously, the tones are this. Now when writing pinyin, you don't need to worry about tones. So you just type in DA, press 1, JIA, J -I -A, press 1, HAO, press 1. Now you don't need to be so precise, you can just do DA, JA, HAO uh, all together and then just enter 1. So the way Chinese works on a pin, uh, on the keyboard is by frequency. So obviously there's lots of characters that have the pronunciation DA and you see these all along the bottom here. If you click down with your keyboard, you will see all of them. And then for each row, if you press down to enter the second row, they will be numbered from one through to nine. Uh, in this case, six. Let's say I wanted this rare character, I would press six. But most of the time, it's usually one of the first three. And obviously you can use the keyboard to go left, right. Now for common phrases, you don't even need to write the full pinion, which would be D-A-J-I. You could just do the initial characters of each pinion. So D, J, H, Da Jia Hao. Now, Ni Hao, which means hello, is N-I-H-A-O. But you could just do N, 
H. And that's the second option. Now you'll see here, actually I've been re re uh, writing Nuan Ho, which means uh, warm, Nuan Ho. Uh, so if you write a character repeatedly, it will actually change frequency. So obviously the word warm is less common than Ni Hao, but in this case, I've been typing that character a lot. So for me, I press two. So just do that one more time, N-I-H-A-O, select one. Or for common phrases, just N-H for Ni Hao. So now let's type some more Chinese. Let's learn the phrase long time no see, which is hao jiu bu jian. That is H-A-O, J-I-U, B-U, J-I-A-N. Now obviously you could just do H-A-O, pick the character, J-I-U, pick the character. But in this case, the most common character, at least when I write it, is the word for alcohol, jiu. Uh, the, select, the second option is jiu, fourth tone. So you need to kind of be able to recognize some common characters. So when typing Chinese, you don't need to have an intrinsic knowledge of the characters, unlike maybe with handwriting, but you do need to have recognition memory. For example, Zai Jian, goodbye. I don't know which Zai it is. Is it the first one? I don't know. Is it the second one? Is it the third one? Um, but if you typed Zai Jian together, it's gonna say it was this one, which is the third most frequent character on my keyboard. So there you go, hopefully this tutorial teaches you how people write Chinese on a computer. So it's not as complicated as maybe you thought, they just use a regular keyboard and type pinyin, the phonetics of Chinese, and then select from a number of options. Uh, so obviously this tutorial was for a Mac because I have no idea how to use a Windows PC. So I will leave a, a link in the bottom if you're interested in that. So if you want to learn more about Chinese, head over to scritter.com and check out all the other videos in this channel. Peace. And how it works basically is every character has an initial and a final, such as bao is a b and an ao, so you enter the b, b, and then you find the ao symbol, ao, and then you pick a tone, one, two, three, four.